Hello, my friends. Today we're making shower steamers. I've been waiting such a long time to make this recipe. I had the ingredients for a while, but I just never got around to making them. So today I'm very excited to make this uh, shower steamers. I wasn't expecting such a great result with so many variables that I had. And I will explain as I go along with the recipe. The, the steamers were wonderful. The combination of essential oils um, uh, is just delicious. So when you get into the shower, that you breathe in all these wonderful essential oils and they help you uh, relax. And if you have a stuffy nose or nasal congestion, it helps a lot. So anyway, here I have baking soda and, and I'm just trying to uh, get rid of all the little um, balls. I guess you could pass it to a siftener, but I just didn't. And I'm adding some mica and I'm going to mix until it combines very well. I'm not going into detail of the recipe because I... Um, I didn't follow the recipe exactly and for example there's a couple of things and this is some alcohol then I'm adding two teaspoons for the full recipe for example I know that everyone that makes shower steamers or bath bombs has a humidifier and uh, they have to be between the humidity level has to be around 45 but in my case I don't have that and it was a test batch and I was not gonna get a machine for that so um, mind you i live in florida and the air conditioning is always on so i don't know how uh, dry uh, it gets as opposed to, or humid as opposed to living up north when the heater is on so here in my house the air condition is around 70 to 72 degrees at all times so uh, in this bowl and i have kaolin clay and um, I have a mix of purple clay because I didn't have enough kaolin clay, but the purple clay didn't change the color uh, much. It was just a slightly uh, lighter green, but it didn't change the color too much. So in this bowl, I had cream of tartar, kaolin clay, and cornstarch. And of course, before you saw me adding the two teaspoons of alcohol, and that's one of the another variation to the recipe um, everybody says that they use 99 percent alcohol i didn't have 99 percent alcohol i have 71 percent alcohol and they said that it wouldn't uh that it will start to uh fast but it didn't um, in here in this uh, beaker i had a mix of um, polysorbate 80 and that helps with the mica and the ingredients to not separate and then just go down the drain. And um, it's a biodegradable mica. So polysorbate 80 and um, menthol crystals, eucalyptus essential oil and camphor essential oil. So, and in here at the end, uh, this is the citric acid. Everybody says that they have to, you have to add the citric acid at the end because it starts getting hard. Uh, uh, I didn't notice that much of a change. It does get drier. So, so we're gonna have to mix. And I cannot address enough how long I mix this because I'm not using my mixer. And, and I think this is, uh, I cut it like four times, but I think I mix probably um, 10 to 12 minutes, even more, because I wanted to go in uh, and dissolve the little uh, balls of any ingredient. And this bowl resulted at the end to be too small for everything. So I'm going to separate it into a smaller bowl, into two bowls so it's easier for me to mix, but you really have to mix everything. And like I said, because I deviate from the original recipe so much, I didn't want to put specifically the recipe, but if you want it, just go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll put it in there. But you know, the alcohol is different. The humidity level, I have no idea what what's 
the humidity in my house um, so I'm not measuring maybe I was just lucky enough uh, but these shower steamers came out so good uh, I have to uh, I had to separate it now because the bowl is too small and um, and this is basically the whole recipe but uh, now I'm gonna show you I order in Amazon this little um, bath bomb molds and it comes in a pack of six I think and it was like six dollars but you really can put it into any silicone mold because it works so now here I'm putting everything back and I line a cookie sheet with wax paper to put my bath bombs my shower steamers and let it dry and you see how when you squeeze it it just uh, stays together uh, that's the consistency that you want on the shower steamers I was also thinking that if you don't want to make it into the shape of bath bombs uh, and you just want to leave it into a jar like a mason jar and then scoop uh, you know like a quarter cup every time you go into the shower I don't know if it will get hard because of the citric acid but uh, I just give it a little tap on top and here they are my shower steamers these are not skin safe um, these are for the shower you have to put it where the water touches it if you have a very strong shower it might last probably five to six minutes uh, if it's not a strong stream of water then it would last a little bit longer but what it, cre it will create in the shower is just wonderful it it's fizzy and uh, it's just delicious everyone that i participated on my trial um, just loved it so here's this is my recipe um, and this is just where i put them to dry and an hour later i can wrap it up thank you very much for following me don't forget to like and subscribe have a wonderful blessed day